All right there, folks, uh, real down and dirty video, no editing or anything like that, just off the iPhone, but I wanted to uh, add this to my ride today on these uh, shopping bags from Amazon.com, and I wanted to show you the bag that I originally found at a grocery store that never showed up there again, and I do recommend this, this particular brand and manufacturing. You can find a link in the video notes below to see a full write-up on it, going through the ecological impact and everything else like that. Uh, along with the, the build and the usage and everything. But uh, I also say I have no real brand loyalty here. I just found a bunch of different ones on uh, Amazon trying to find something to replicate this. And this one had the best consistent reviews if you got rid of all the ones with fake reviews. So anyway, we were at Albertson's Grocery Store. And this is over two years old, this bag, now to show you how well it's held up. And we were looking for, you know reusable bags because we just prefer to do that but the problem is most of the reusable bags they have in the grocery store suck they don't stand up you have to fiddle around with them once you get a few things in them they sort of work out and we saw these and we're like this seems awesome because the way this bag works is it opens up and then there's a hard reinforced bottom and that folds and it sits like a box and it just works you put it in the trunk of your car and it sits flat it's got a large capacity. It sits in a shopping cart on the way out. If you have heavy items and you put your heavy items, you have two, two of them will fit in a shopping cart. And then you put your light items in other ones and you can set them on top and they'll fill up a shopping cart almost perfectly. It just worked. I had one concern about them when I found it though, and that is that this bottom material seems rather thin, specifically compared to the sides, which are basically the same material, double-sided, and it has cardboard panels inside them. So I looked at that and we bought two of them and I'm like, if they suck, they're not that much money, we'll get some more later. Well, lo and behold, we went back and they didn't have them. And over the years, we kept looking for them and nobody has them. And I guess cheapness want one out and the stores, instead of giving the consumer the opportunity to make a better quality choice, just decided that we wouldn't do it. So they don't have it. And we asked about them several times and we just never came up with them again. And you can see how they're built. They're built with rivets into the side of the material. And there's actually a few things I liked about this one better than the replacement that I found, but these are really good. So these are a little bit taller, but a little bit shorter. So they might fit in some carts a little bit better. Um, they have exactly the same material, uh, the same type of build. They're riveted. I, I would say the rivets are probably not any as good, but they're good enough for what you're talking about here. Um, the bottom in them is not connected. So it folds up just fine like that, but I guess there is potential to lose them. It's really not a big deal. Fold it down, keep them inside. And you can see that side by side, these are about an inch taller and about an inch shorter. So they're probably relative to the same capacity. Again though, they just work. You set that in your car, you set that in the back seat, you set it in the trunk, you set it in the back of a truck, it just sits still. When you go to put your groceries in it, or the checker goes to put your groceries in it, the checkers love these. The people at Costco love these things. Now, when, if you're looking and you want to go kind of to a different brand, I will tell you the one big thing that the Albertsons one had that this one didn't, but I couldn't find one that had this that had decent reviews because any a thing like this can be built by any chop shop in, in, in China, obviously. Um, it's these shorter handles. So, you know, it's fine to carry these things like this, but there's times when you have them really weighed down with maybe a lot of canned goods or something like that, where it's just more convenient to carry them by the side handles. Uh, so if you're looking for maybe a different brand on Amazon or elsewhere, you might want to look for that. But in the end, these had the best consistent real world reviews of anything out there for standing up over time. Now, I want to say something. All of the ones that had, like, you know, it, it, it broke down, it wore out, whatever, none of them actually had bottoms blown out with this thinner piece of material that I was worried about. It was often things like along the seam or along the ridge, the material peeling back off the cardboard. And I have a feeling that a lot of these people didn't actually, you know, look at this thing and go, this, this is an $8 bag. This is not like a freaking $20 ripstop, double-stitch nylon tactical, you know, uh, warfighter bag or something. If you leave them out in the rain, if you leave them out in the sun, if you throw them around like a baggage handler, I mean, again, it's an $8 bag, but not a survival item. 
It is a cool prepper item, and I'll say they also, and while you're not talking about like heavy duty monkey wrenches or something, great organization tool in the back seat of a car or a pantry. However, you can probably find more durable items for those uses that don't fold up. Because you, the only reason you need something that folds up is you're continuously filling it and emptying it and going other places with it because nobody wants to walk around with four of these in their shopping cart while they shop. Basically what this is, it's a cloth box. That's why it works so well. That's why it sits flat. Again, it won't change your life forever, but it will make one part of it a little bit better. And remember, you can find all my reviews and help support the show and the work that we do just by starting all your online shopping where? tspaz.com, T-S-P-A-Z.com. Right up for this with a bunch more information about it, more than you'd think, in the video notes below.